Hello and welcome to another one of D's ADD videos. Today we're going to be talking about relative abundance or isotope abundance. Let's look at this example. There are two stable isotopes of element Y, doesn't matter what it is, and one of them is Y24, the other one is Y25. And we want to know what their relative abundances are. Okay, So for our purposes, I'm not going to give you exact AMU measures. I just want you to understand the concept. So what's happening? Well, we got the same formula as before. We're going to take the fraction times weight. So, in this scenario, we're just going to use the 24 and the 25 as the weights. So, normally you would have like 24.1231 use, and then this would be like 28.432, whatever AMUs. And then you would use those for the weights. But for our purposes, I'm not trying to bog you down with tedious calculations, I want you to understand the concept through this example. So let's look at it. We've got the fraction of the 24 isotope. Here, I'll just make it F for fraction. Let's try that again. Times the weight, in this case we're going to say is 24, plus the fraction of the 25 times the 25 AMUs. And that's going to equal the 24.782. Well, how can this occur? Well, the only way this is going to occur is if we just think about the concept of parts and holes. If I have a hole and I take away part of that hole, then how much is left? Well, it's going to be that whole minus what I took away. So if we call the whole 1, this big uh, rectangle, we call that 1, and we call this little spot x, that little missing rectangle, then let's say we put, or we have x as the 24 fraction. We don't know it. I'm going to write the 24 in front. You can multiply in any order. Then, as a result, we're going to have what's left over in the 25 fraction. Well, if we took away x from the whole, what's left over? Well, the whole, which is 1, minus what we took away. And that's going to equal our 24.782. Some basic algebra at this point. So then combine your like terms on the left side and bring over the 25 on this side. So here we're going to have a negative x. And if I subtract that uh, 25 right here on both sides, uh, I'm going to get So we got 24.782, so negative 2.218, divide both sides by the negative, and you're going to get x equals 0.218. That's the fraction, right? And then if we want, that was the fraction for the... 24. You should have technically labeled that. So you would say at the beginning, you would say F 
of 24, let that equal x, then as a result, f of 25 would be 1 minus x. So that when you get to the very end, you know exactly what to do to get the, this is the 24 one. So to get the 25, you do 1 minus the 0.218. So that would give you 0.782. And it's just coincidence that it's uh, this because I chose the weights to be a fixed distance of one from each other. That's why this is occurring. But uh, hopefully you understand the concept. Uh, I will do another real life example with uh, actual elements on a separate video, but this explains the concept to you, okay? So again, what did we do? We did the fractions times the weights. Uh, we didn't know the fractions, so we let one equal x. As a result, the other one equals one minus x. Then you distribute, combine your like terms, solve for x, and then do one minus that answer to get the other isotope of Hope I've clarified things for you a little bit. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.